everybody it's Tyra P cooks and tonight I'm showing you how to make meatloaf um, what I did was I'm planning to make some lasagna so I took half a pound of ground chuck and half a pound of ground pork and I separated it so in my meatloaf is the other half a pound of ground chuck the other half a pound of ground pork I finally chopped some basil some fresh parsley a quarter of an onion and I added some of these diced tomatoes with fennel and red pepper and then I added all my spices. I don't like using the uh, meatloaf packet because there's so many chemicals in that. And so, you know, we can cut down some of that crap in our food by just using these seasonings that are uh, non-GMO. Uh, and they also don't have MSG in them. So I have garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, paprika, salt, and Italian seasoning. And I would say maybe a teaspoon of each one I dumped into here. Two eggs, unseasoned breadcrumbs. I'll stir it up. And then the, toma uh, the, toma the diced tomatoes, I used about a quarter of a cup. You don't want too many in there. If you possibly in your pantry have sun-dried tomatoes, you could chop up a few of those and throw those bad puppies in there. So this is all stirred up. I added a quarter cup of milk as well to help absorb the breadcrumbs. So this is ready to go in here. If you're anything like me, you're pretty busy. You go to work, you come home, you got to do something uh, to get dinner on the table really quickly. So while my daughter's in the bathtub, I'm putting this together. I'll put this in the oven. I have some diced gold and red potatoes cooking in chicken broth because I'm going to, of course, make mashed potatoes. I have some green beans I'm going to steam right quick. But this will go in the oven while my daughter finishes her bath. I spend a few minutes playing with her and getting her ready for bed. Then we will have dinner. That needs about 45 minutes. You could do a lot in 45 minutes if you're a busy mom, a single parent, somebody on the go. You always have something to do. You need to sit down, get on Facebook, catch up with your friends. While that's cooking, you could do that. Okay, so after about 45 minutes uh, with the meatloaf in the oven at 375, 400 degrees. Um, I took some my favorite tomato sauce, some marinara sauce, about a fourth of a cup of marinara sauce, a tablespoon of brown sugar, stirred it up, poured it over my meatloaf, put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes on 400 for sure, 400, because you may cook it at 375, you may need more time to do some things around the house. Uh, but at 15 minutes, at 400 to get it, that sauce set. And here you are, this is your meatloaf. And of course, I got my yummy mashed potatoes, my steamed green beans. But this is what it looks like. And as usual, it's going down in my house tonight. What about yours? Thanks for hanging out with Tyra P. Cooks.